Hey guys, Steve Watts here at Bima Toyota in Nashville. Um, wanted to show you some things on the new Sienna, uh, mainly about how you uh, open, um, close your power doors, also how you lock and unlock your doors. Um, so you do have the smart key system first off on the car. This right here, if you hit that button, you can hear that beep. That's how you actually lock the doors. If you grab this door handle here, you're gonna unlock the doors, but if you hold the handle there, you're gonna unlock all of them after three seconds, all right? So, showing you that, all right? So, the other thing that you have down here is your power slider. So, what you can do is you can see, you hit that button there, it's gonna actually allow that door to open, or not that button, but you kick under there, allow that door to open, allow that door to close, all right? So, that's gonna be very easy to do that. You can also, pull this on the inside so if somebody's inside they can do that button that's going to go ahead and open and close your sienna as well you have this button right here which will also open and close your sienna and then you also have the handle that you can actually pull open and then that's going to open or close the door all right so i know i'm kind of opening and closing this here a lot but um you see how it pops open you also have the ability, if you chose to, to actually shut off the power door switch, which I'll try to get that right there. That's how you shut off the power door switch. And then what you'll notice when you do that, the door, it slides. Just the same way that an old van would have slide, all it did is it just disabled the, the power open, power close. So if you're trying to open it, trying to close it and it's you know you're having to, to use the a little bit of muscle on it and it's not doing the automatic that's the reason all right so um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put this power button back on here and i'm gonna show you one more way and this is on everything that's from your xle and above but one more way that you can do it is right here if you hit that button you're gonna notice as well it's gonna go ahead and shut that door so that's on your side door so there are a lot of ways that you can choose to open um, and close your doors all right so the other thing you've got is in the back here you also have and this is the xse i think i said xle earlier but you have that ability to kick which i just kicked there on your back door when you kick the back door it'll obviously go up or down and then you've got the ability to hit this button right here to lower it all right and what i'm going to do first is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shut this door because I wanna show you something at the same time. Everybody pretty much knows that you can hit a button that's somewhere, and I just showed you where it is, and close the door. You also have that ability to kick and you could close that door as well. But if you hit this button twice, right, you get that second tone. What that second tone's gonna do is it's gonna lock as soon as it hits the bottom. And you saw the flash there, it just locked your doors, all right? So now if I come here to this one, you can see the doors are locked. Obviously it'll unlock if I touch this handle because of the smart key system and I have that key in my pocket. So it's gonna go ahead and it's going to unlock. So, and like I said, lock it right there. Both your driver's doors will allow you to lock it by touching that. So now there actually is, and I almost forgot, there is one other way. I was gonna go and show you the difference on the LE. There is one other way that you can unlock all of these. And if you look up, you'll be able to see it. All right, and I'll get a good view on it here. So you've got this right here, and the back door is opening, right? And I'll give you a look back there. You see it's opening, right? I'll hit that button again, and you'll see it come down. All right, so open and close from that button right there. All right, so you can do that. You can, and then this is a rocker switch. All right, so hit that button and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna open that side door over here. All right, it's the same one we've been working with on the other side. You also have the ability, now if you hit open again, it's not gonna do anything because you already hit open. So hit close side of it and that's gonna close that same door over there it just closed up for us all right and then obviously this one's going to work the exact same way and while we're here show you here's your sunroof your tilt for your sunroof and that one will open your sunroof so um that is all of the ways that uh, i could possibly think that you'd want to even open your doors so uh that being said 
what I wanted to do here is I wanted to show you the LE because the LE has a little bit different. So when you go to the base model of the Sienna, you don't have all of the extra features. So what you'll notice, and you might notice originally, is that there's no kick sensor on this, all right? So you've got the little, all of the bottom pieces are the same. So this right here is the same on all of them, but there's no kick sensor under there. So even though it has that icon, when you buy it new, if you wanna know if it has the kick sensor, look for this sticker, all right? Because if it has that sticker, it's telling you that that kick sensor is installed. Easier way to know is if you're looking, let me get this uh, zoomed here a little bit different. If you're looking at the LE, it does not have it. Easy way to know. Once you go up to the next level, you'll get it. The XLE and above will have it. So the LE will not have it. Will not have your sensor um, on the door handle. So what you'll have is you'll have your key that'll look like this the key to the XSE that we were in or the platinums or the xles will look like this so let me make sure i'm showing you here and you can see how it has the back door button there so you're going to notice that this one on this car does not all right so i wanted to show you that difference so i'm going to hit unlock all right so you still have your your power locks power unlocks all of that right and you still if you pull this button here, when it's unlocked, you'll notice even on the base level trim, you still have that power door, all right? You also will notice that you still have this door off button. And if you were to do that, there you go. It's just like an old, old time one, right? So you have the button still right here. You have the ability to pull that. You have the ability to hit it on your key fob, which you also had on the other ones. So all of them, you can open it with your key fob as well. So I forgot to say that on the first one, but uh, you guys know how I make my videos. So I kind of go as I go, but um, so now here is the other thing I wanted to show you. All right, so if we look right here, you're gonna notice open, close. So I can open and close, but you're missing one. You're missing this one right here. All right, so I can open and I can close both sides easily from right here. You still have a sunroof, you still have that, right? So I can do all that, but I can't open the back from inside. So you might ask, well, is the back not open? Sure, it opens, guys. Um, but it's gonna have the old style, as I call it, shock system on here. So you still have the button that's under here. Both of them have a button under here as well that you can open. And then when you open it, it's going to come up with these side shocks that are, I call them Mighty Lifts. I know that's a brand name, like I've mentioned before, but it'll come up with those shocks and then you just pull it down. You'll notice where that button is on the other one, it's blank here. There's no way to lock it from this one, no way to bring it down by itself. There are some older cars that you'll have, um, and when I say older, last year, um, which on the limiteds when you raised it from the back you would um it, it would not have the power up function from the back it would have the uh, power down function when you did it from the back but as soon as you grab the back handle it wouldn't do the power up all right so i'm going to show you on this xse that we were working with which is right here um that when we do this button right here you're going to hit that button and it's going to do power up now so like i said the previous generation it, it didn't matter if you had the limited or what you had it would have that you'd hit that button and then the door would actually swing up um kind of like it was spring loaded kind of like the one we just opened actually so it had that and it would come up but uh and then you could power up power down but the previous generation would have the ability in the higher levels to hit the button on the key fob to hit the button on the the top of the uh, center console like we were just talking there and be able to raise it and lower it that way but if you got it open from the back it would spring open on you so um, some people complained about that i do know that but uh hey it is what it is that's what they were and that's what they had but now it's power up power down regardless of what you're uh of what you're doing so i do want to note one other thing too when we're talking about opening and closing doors i told you that the xse has that kick sensor on the back door there is one caveat to that if you have this mount right here which is a 35 
hundred pound uh, hitch on this vehicle, what you'll notice if you come over here, let me see where it's at. I believe it shows it on here too. So it has tow hitch right here. So it's going to note that it has the tow hitch from the factory right here. All right. If you look on the spec sheet for that, so if you look on the sheet from the factory that says tow hitch, it will say delete rear kick sensor. So if you had that tow hitch, I've had people ask me before and would say, is this the kick sensor? This is not the kick sensor. This is your wiring to hook up your trailer to. All right, so that is not a kick sensor. No matter how hard you kick it, it's not gonna open the door, guys. All right, so that is not a kick sensor. There is no kick sensor on the back of this. The tow hitch has removed it, all right? So um, so if you have a tow hitch, you want a tow hitch on it, realize that you're not gonna have the use of the back kick sensor on the Sienna. Now, I will mention that, and you guys have, have talked to me about this several times, on the Highlander, they had an issue that was very similar where you added the hitch and they ended up redesigning the Highlander um, uh, for the upper level trims that have the kick sensor for the back to make it where you can put a hitch on there and not lose the kick sensor, all right? They have not done that yet on the Sienna. Will they? Who knows? Um, my guess is probably not. And here's why I say that. The metal, I believe, gets in the way of the kick sensor. And if you look at this hitch, the way they had to mount this hitch, it goes the entire distance. The way they mount the hitch on the Highlander, and I might actually just kind of walk over here and be able to show you guys. So um, the way they mount the hitch on the Highlander, it doesn't do the same thing. It only goes part of the way. So um, depending on what trim level, and let me see if I see one with the hitch here. So here, actually, I can show you. So depending on the trim level, the Highlander, this hitch right here, you can see it kind of comes back. It actually stops a little bit earlier and it allows the kick sensor to be over here on the Highlander, all right? So that way you can still have your kick sensor on the Highlander, but in my guess, and that's exactly what it is, is a guess, the way that they have to mount it with how long that hitch is on there, I don't see them being able to do the same modification that they did on the Highlander to the Sienna. So that being said, they've surprised me before. Maybe they redesign how the hitch goes. Maybe there's something like that that they can do. Who knows? Um, I'm sure that uh, somebody out there is working on it, but uh, if you guys get a hitch put on your uh, Sienna, Make sure that you realize that you're going to have to disable the back hitch um, or the back kick sensor. So now I'm going to show you one other thing while I'm here. And I know I'm getting a little bit long winded, but um, this is also when it comes to your doors. And um, it's just easier to show you on this one. So, <laughs> all right. So when you're doing your doors, remember I mentioned about this switch. Oops, sorry. About this switch right here. All right. I'm going to turn this car on and I want to show you guys something else. All right. So if you have this put in, see, I'm gone to the settings menu. Usually you're going to be probably somewhere right here. If you look back, I'm going to be hitting this right button here. All right. So the right arrow button. All right. So if I hit this, I'm going to go over to my settings, right? Once I go to my settings, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to hit vehicle settings, right? And then the center OK button, I'm going to hit OK. You see where it says PSD, power side door, all right? Now I'm going to hit this. You can see I've got the hands-free on. I can turn the hands-free. I can turn your kick sensors off, all right? And it tells me what kick sensor for the, um, the front, the back. It tells me all about those, right? So now here is what's cool to watch. I'm going to hit that power door off button, that same button I got down here. I'm going to hit this button. So I'm going to... I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door so that little message don't show up. But when I hit this off button, watch. It now has shut off all of the uh, hands-free options. It shut off every option. I can't do anything to any of these buttons, right? So if I turn the button back on, boom, all these come back up. You also have the ability you can change the level 
which I'm just hitting the OK button. You can change how loud the beep is for when you kick, right? Turn it off, turn it on. So if you don't want the driver's side kick to work, but you do want the passenger side kick to work, you guys can do that. So you can change those kicks. A lot of these vehicles I've noticed um, when they're coming in from other dealers, they have not enabled those kicks, all right? So, and this is the power back door, all right? So the power back door, and what I just did is, you saw I went from power side door to power back door, so PBD, right? So now if you add that hitch, you're gonna have to go into this setting, boom, turn your kick sensor off by hitting this, right? On, off, right? So you're gonna have to turn that setting off for the kick sensor, but you can leave the power back door on. So you can still have it work to go up, down. You can still have it work for, um, if you have the, uh, if you wanna use this up here, you still have all that work. It's just with a hitch, you won't have that right there, that, that setting be able to be on. So I'm gonna turn this one back on so that somebody doesn't think that that one's broken. But I have, like I said, I have noticed several times, I'm gonna turn that up. I've noticed several times that um, people have had a car that we've gotten in from another dealer or something like that, and those have been shut off. So if you get a car and you don't think the kick settings are turned on, that is the way to turn them on. So that's a little uh, bonus for those of y'all stuck around to the end of the video. So hopefully I've given you guys uh, more than enough information on how all of your doors um, open and close and lock and unlock and how all your power doors work. And um, I, I don't know that I can give you any more information than that on it. I uh, even told you about your sunroof, right? So, um, and brought up the hitch, I mean, great. So hopefully I've given you all the information you guys need. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to know about the Sienna and the new 2021 all hybrid Sienna. By the way, these things get 36 miles per gallon, you guys. And that's that, that's combined, right? So definitely let me know what you guys uh, need. If you guys want to come to Nashville, buy a car, um, definitely am more than happy to help you guys. Uh, shout out to Andy, just bought a uh, 4Runner from me. Uh, appreciate you for that as well. So uh, I appreciate everyone of you guys and definitely let me know if uh, you guys are out there looking for a vehicle. Um, yeah, we'll have some fun in Nashville. I'll show you, show you guys a good time buying a car and um, you guys can enjoy the city here. So um, Steve Watch will be with Toyota in Nashville. You guys have a great day. We will talk to you guys soon. Definitely like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate every one of you guys for doing that. If I, if I left something out, let me know too, but I don't think it did. So uh, appreciate every one of you guys. Toyota Sienna 2021 all hybrid Toyota Sienna. You guys have a great day. Bye.